Well, there seems to be a lot of increased publicity about the false widow spiders in the UK at the moment. They are something that has been around for quite a while, uh, but they do seem to be increasing their range across southern Britain and heading into the north. This could be due to climate change. If you do want to know what a noble false widow looks like, this is Steatoda nobilis, but even this isn't a very distinct photograph, so it can be difficult to tell them apart. And I know a bit about it, and I still have difficulty being certain. Um, but they are this general shape. They have a sort of quite fattened abdomen. They're still a maximum of only 15 millimeters for the female's body size. Males are smaller. Uh, and they have paler legs and a dark abdomen with some white markings on it. But it can be difficult to tell individual species apart, and there are seven different species that are found in the UK. Well, size-wise, with the legs outstretched, they're about the size of a 50p coin, so not as big as in the picture. They certainly uh, often like human-type habitats, like garages and outhouses and places like that. Um, but uh, they don't occur in large numbers where they're all ganging together. They don't build nests of spiders. They don't uh, become a giant pest problem. If someone is concerned about being bitten, the chances are incredibly rare. People very rarely get bitten by spiders in the UK, and there's certainly been no deaths at, uh, uh, attached to spider bites. Um, but uh, it could, if you do get bitten by one, it could cause some local swelling and a bit of irritation. Possibly no more than that, but it's only if you have an allergic reaction that it could be more serious. You should say that the only reason these are called false widows is because they look very similar to the true black widow, which is the one that does have a more serious bite. Um, but funny enough, these in the wild have been known to kill and eat black widows, so they do a good job in doing that. Although there's a lot of publicity about this sort of spider at the moment, and lots of UK zoos are responding to questions about them, there is really nothing to worry about. If you are concerned, then have a look at certain websites like the Natural History Museum, where they've got very good information about this, which is an overblown story.